Welcome to the channel. This reading will be for the Pisces. So there's someone you want to peek in on. Want to be a fly on the wall. Want to buzz through the blinds of the person on your mind. If you're new here, I'm Melissa. I like to be a fly on the wall. And I like to buzz through the blinds of the person on my mind. Right now, I want to try to tune in to the Pisces energies that might find this. And let's see if we can peek in on your person. If you don't resonate with this reading, check out my playlist. You might find your reading there. They're timeless. You find them when you're meant to. But let's see if we can tune in to your energy. <sighs> Sucking up your energy. Um, show me, please. What is representing the overall energy of the person that the Pisces tuning in might might want to be peeking in on? The Knight of Coins. Okay, well, of uh, the Knights are action. They are energies that are usually moving and taking action. Of all the Knights... The Knight of Coins, he's slow. <laughs> he, of all the knights, he's supposed to be like the most virtuous, a noble, but like they slow, they show up slow. It could even be represented by the ride, like this energy's taken. They're not on a horse; they're like on a bull. And uh, you know, bulls can be stubborn. They can be gentle and sweet, but they can be stubborn. All right, so that, <laughs> if you're resonating so far, uh, someone that, uh, you know, is slow to show up, <laughs> they could be stubborn. Um, they could be mo money focused, because that's coin energy. They could be an earth sign. All right, show me more about this energy that we're peeking in on. Five of Swords. So, this could have uh, been an energy that you had a disagreement with. Some sort of um, argument, maybe even a fight. Where someone walked away. Or, or someone, one of you cared more, or was affected by the argument, the situation, than the other person. Um, one of you could feel like the other person turned their back to it. Okay, show me what this energy is feeling, if my Pisces is resonating so far. Please show me what is this energy, this Knight of Coins, feeling about the Pisces. The connection, let's peek in on the feelings, let's buzz, let's be a fly on the wall, let's be a fly on the wall. Oh. They're feeling stuff. All right. On the bottom, there's a fool. In this deck, the fool is the little mermaid. This isn't based on, like, the Disney fairy tale. This is, like, the true um, little mermaid fairy tale, which if you do not know, I suggest to go check it out. This energy, though, she doesn't have a voice, or she's willing to give up her voice and her place in her world to be with this other energy, okay? So either this energy sees you as being someone that would, like, give up everything, um, maybe even forgets who they are to, to be in a connection. All right, let's see what's here, because I see this Four of Wands. All right. And the Four of Wands, if you're unfamiliar, sometimes has to do with um, an engagement, moving in with someone, Overall, it represents a balanced connection and stable, balanced connection with another energy um, and a celebration. There's a lot here, so I'm going to put them out and we'll see what your energy is feeling. Um, the King of Swords is there. The Moon, that's you, Pisces. Four of Swords. The Hermit. The Four of Coin. The Star. The Seven of Coin. 
the Nine of Cups, the Emperor, Ace of Coin, the Six of Sword. Okay, okay, what's happening here? All right. So, mm, we started off with um, this Four of Wands. So for some of you, this is someone that you may have um, been engaged to or talked about that uh, or lived or lived with or talked about living with. Um, or it's representing that this connection started off where you felt like, um, and this person felt like you balanced each other out and they could see some sort of future or they represented it that way this is the king of swords uh, this energy can be a little head over heart um it mm, sword energy is clarity it's truth mm, they're kind of like facing away Looking at this moon energy, and in this energy, this card, this energy is not facing us. She's looking at the moon. I'm feeling like this is representing Pisces, so that's how you might resonate as well. And these energies look very similar with the dark hair. Um, in this connection, I don't know if this is something that you have faced, Pisces. Um, you may have um, made things more beautiful than they really were or seen things through, you know, your own eyes. Um, or this person could see you as like a dreamy Pisces energy, like... Like, you were very, like, you're focused on, you know, living together, being engaged, um, f feeling in love, okay? Feeling like this person brings balance to you, okay? This Four of Swords, this is, like, the energy that's kind of, um, keeping... They're not talking, usually, is what I say. Not verbalizing things. They're quiet. So either you, Pisces, this person, saw you as being someone that kind of kept certain things to yourself. Um, or, like, maybe you didn't see yourself the way that this energy saw you. as so, like, like, they may have seen, they may see you or saw you as an energy that would, like, give up that, like, what would I say here, okay? If you resonated with this. Um, and if it, if you don't resonate with that, it could be that this energy, this king of, uh, sorry, this knight of coin energy that we started off with saw you as someone, maybe you guys come from different worlds, okay? Speak different languages, or, you know, or, or one or both of you could feel like or felt like especially with this five of sword here like um like you don't you didn't hear each other or weren't able to hear each other like everything was a fight or an argument you know um okay and then this energy also may have been kind of keeping certain truths to themselves or holding back certain truths because they may have realized, like, you know, your sensitive energy more, or more sensitive than them. <clears throat> All right, then we have the hermit here. This is Virgo energy. Sometimes it's a person that is going within, taking time to themselves, um... Sometimes it's a person that is ghosted. Sometimes I say it's someone that's like ghosted energy. Like they're sitting next to us, but it's like they're not there. You know what I mean? They're not fully there. This is the four of coins. It's an energy that I sometimes say is holding back 
sometimes information. Um, this energy is really holding on to the coins here. You know. Um, the star is here. Aquarius energy. And we see like the stars under the moon. <laughs> This energy could have been holding back some of their hopes, dreams, aspirations. Or they could have, like, felt like they couldn't fully give the Pisces or fulfill Pisces' hopes and dreams uh, in general. Like, or in the connection itself. Or to even be the person that Pisces saw them to be or, you know, sees through their eyes to be. This is the seven of coins. So this is, again, coin energy. Pentacles, pentacles. Um, and this is about planting seeds. And I will say in this, in this deck, there's two energies in this card. And usually you don't see that in a seven of coins because it represents the person planting the seeds to watch what they've planted grow. So here you have two energies, and there's just this fire. <laughs> so, um, if this person is an earth sign, this knight of coin energy, they don't have to be. But they could have been very worried about or focused on how, like, I I'm just feeling like this is saying... They really felt like the Pisces wanted to plant seeds and grow with them. Especially because we don't normally see two energies in a Seven of Pentacles card. This energy could have felt, you know, a little um, overwhelmed by that. All right, now here we have this Nine of Cups. And again, this is another card where you usually see a single person, a single energy in the card, but here it's a couple. Uh, yeah, I'm just feeling like this person may have felt like um, they didn't have enough space. Okay. okay. Here's the Emperor. This is Aries energy. Um, boss energy, boss energy. So either this person is domineering and you're like, mm, for some of you, you might see them that way. You might like them that way. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like this is saying this energy, much like with the Seven of Pentacles here, just felt like, like all of their happiness had to be about the Pisces or the connection. And again, here, any seeds that they might plant, it should be in about the future, about the connection, about, about these people, <laughs> two people, uh, and this person can sometimes be... They can misuse their power sometimes. And they're strategic, I usually say. The emperor energy. Um, this, this could be saying for some of you that this person is not as mature or not mature enough right now in their life to be so committed to putting all of their happiness and, and putting all their seeds for the future into whatever this represents for you, okay? Because here we have the Ace of Cups next to... It's almost like this person is controlling, for some of you, like, controlling the amount of love that they feel for, in general, like, for a connection. Um, like, they're, they're only willing to give so much, is what I felt for so all right for some of you. This is the new beginning, the Ace of Cups, okay, and it's it's cup energy. It's all about love. And next to it is the Six of Sword, okay. So this is saying one of two things: that this person we're peeking in on, if you're resonating, either feels like. Um, you, energy, Pisces, might eventually go swim off, okay? Um, or, because it's here next to this Ace of Cup, it's just kind of clarifying what I was already feeling here. 
about this person maybe just being scared off. If you're resonating with this hermit energy, being a person that may have, um, you know, become ghosted energy or they disappear, they go off in their own world, they're there but they're not there. All right, so this could be just a person that is slow to fully put both feet in to whatever this is representing for you, this four of wands. Um, and it could be because of whatever this five of swords represents for you, whether this is like a, a literal like fight that took place, okay? Or maybe even... If this is representing the Pisces energy, you could represent that Pisces went off to have a new beginning, okay? You may have had a kid together, and you took your kid and left. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so let me see what this two of coins and the chariot. So for some of you, you, did, you, you may have left because uh, this energy you felt like is too, too slow. And I'm hearing the train right now. You may have taken the train. But you didn't get on a boat. Okay. Um, yeah, you may have found something out. Or you may be keeping certain things you found out to yourself with this High Priestess card. Because that's Pisces energy. And the energy that keeps things sometimes to themselves. Or knows things others don't. And the Two of Coins is the person that's juggling. And here again, she's an energy with the holding children. So I don't know for some of you. All right. If um, the Pisces watching is resonating and they want to connect with this, with this person, if that's your desire, what can we? What advice do the cards have for this energy? Okay, on the bottom is this Ten of Cups, and again, Ten of Cups. Um, it's really emphasizing like this couple holding a baby. The, um, this is the, and again, these energies, these like mer, mer people, mermaid people. Okay. <clears throat> the Knight of Wands, which I usually say is, uh, okay. The Knight of Wands. Um, I usually say this is an energy that is impulsive. Uh, the, in this card specifically, the face on this person, um, they're like, they're just like, <laughs> Almost like mad. <laughs> Not mad like angry. Like a mad hatter. Anyway, so this energy, okay, you might be desiring them to show more fire, more passion, um, Pisces. This ton of sword, or it might be saying you need to do that. I don't know. <laughs> but someone needs to show some action. It could be that Pisces really desires this because this night is so slow. So this could be saying you need to give this energy a break. That, like, the alternative is having an energy that's a mad hatter. Like, do you want someone that's grounded? Or do you want someone who's, like, you know, look at the fire coming out of the back of them. And they're just, like... The, uh, uh, this Ten of Swords represents... Um, betrayal. Uh, but in this card, this person is, like, trying to get in this boat, and their their father is cutting off the... So they can't get in the boat. It's a messed up tale. Um, the point is, <laughs> uh, this could represent that, like, like, you're allowing um, yourself to be hurt in the situation by not appreciating what you have. Maybe um, you need some time if you're resonating as the energy that has went off um, or if you're, your person that we're peeking in on went off this is what it could represent as well. If that person went off and they're acting all Knight of Wands, but you know them as this energy and you've been waiting for them to show that fire for you, you could really feel like like they've betrayed 
the connection or the person that you saw, you know, them to be through your eyes, you know, this betrayal. Um, but it could be you, like, um, like cutting off your nose despite your face kind of thing. And this Five of Cups. I mean, this is a wailing widow. And overall, this is an energy that isn't appreciating what it has. Okay? So... This could be saying you need it, you might need to appreciate what you have in general, but in this connection specifically. Um, that's what I'm seeing there. Uh, to support what I do, you could like the video. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps out my channel. If you want to donate to me, you can buy me a coffee. Thank you in advance for any donations made. And if you want a personal reading, send me an email. All right, guys, thank you so much. See you next time.